Hey guys, this is Mitch with Finepoint CGI, and today we're gonna talk about Udio. We're gonna talk about what it is, why it's cool, and why you guys wanna start playing around with it. Because the thing about AI is that it's only gonna get better at this point. So let's talk about it. So first things first, what is Udio? So Udio is a tool that lets you generate music for your projects. And it's 100% free currently, at least while it's in beta. Now, that being said, this is subject to change. Once they go out of beta, it might start costing money. But right now, it is free for you to generate your own music. And you can see that they have a bunch of different types of music here. If we come over here, you can see all these different types of songs. Now, I'll go to my creations so that way I can show you guys some of the songs that I've generated. And there's a bunch of them, right? I've messed around with this for quite a bit. So if I go to my published, you can see here's one of the songs that I built using this tool. So you can see it builds really good music and you actually know this song because I've been using it as my outro. And I can tell you that it's a pretty good jam. It, it actually does a really good job at building this music. So now your question might be, okay, that's really cool, right? So what can I use it for? Well, Here's how it works, and here's where some ideas can start generating in the back of your mind on what to do. So if you come up here and you type stuff, you can actually get different types of music. So for instance, if I come in here and I type something like single guitar, calm, um, soothing, sad, introspective, and then you can see it's starting to suggest stuff. So bitter, lonely, bittersweet, melancholic, um, I think that will work. And you actually, I think for single, I think, how do you spell acoustic? It's been a while since I've had to spell acoustic. So we'll say acoustic guitar, calm, soothing, melancholy, depressive, by the fire pit, nighttime, let's say. And if you want to, you can go ahead and put lyrics or not. And I'll show you both. We'll test both, but I'm going to do an instrumental just because it's going to be a bit easier. So we'll do instrumental and we'll click create. Now you'll see in a second, if I go back to my creations, like so, you'll see it's gonna start creating that music. And one of the coolest things about this is that we can use it for commercial purposes. Inside of their licensing, they say right here, they the company does not claim any ownership of your content, and your content is anything that you generated or submitted through this system. And you can even see here, subject to compliance with these terms, including without limitation 6.4, you may use output for personal and commercial purposes. We permit you to download your output um, for basically for that purpose. Now you can see section 6.4 attribution. You must attribute that it was generated using AI and you must attribute that you have used the service to generate this stuff. And if not, then you are in violation of their uh, copyright infringement, and then you'll be in trouble. So just make sure that you attribute it and you'll be able to generate all of your music right here. So now that we've given it a little bit of time, you can see that we have two generated sounds. So let's go ahead and take a listen to them, see if there's anything good. Oh, I think I like this one. This one's good. All right, let's listen to the next one. So 
So let's say that we like this one, right? We can actually come in here and do what's called remixing and extending it. So you can see if I want to remix it, I can click remix, comma, slow, calm. And then you'll see if I hit remix, what it's gonna do is it's gonna regenerate these based off of that single guitar track and then allow you to go in and kind of get a feel for that song. So it'll actually keep that same feeling, but it will allow you to adjust the song slightly, if that makes sense. Whereas what extending does is it allows you to extend the track by 30 seconds. So you can get some really cool results if you really know how to use this tool. So if I were to click extend on this track, you can see that you could do an intro, a section before, and a section after, or an outro. So I could do an add intro like so and click extend and you'll see that it's going to go ahead and extend this song, this one right here, by 30 seconds. And now if we take a listen to some of these remixes, so remember we did it based off of this Twilight Ember song. So if we click, So it's a similar feel, but it's not quite as melancholy, if that makes sense. So let's, let's see what the next one gives us. That one's okay as well. So far, I still like the original. I think the original's the best, but that's basically what remixing does is it allows you to basically go and adjust the song to make it a bit more fine tune the song to make it more what you want. Now you'll see that this guy uh, rendered, I added an intro, so let's see what it did. And not too bad. So this would be really useful if you had a, you know, scene where there's a guy playing the guitar in front of a fire pit, maybe for some people or something like that. And that's something that could take a lot of time in writing for you to have to write. But this allows you to generate that music. And then we can do the same thing with this one. And you can see that they're very similar, but they're definitely different. And that's the really cool part about this, that you get different variations of the same song and you can make things however you want them to be. Now, and you can also use it to generate stuff like chip tunes. So if I come in here and I type GBA comma chip, Tune, 8-bit, background, comma, battle, music, like that. You'll see that I can actually generate background music for a, like a battle, let's say, for our 8-bit game. And that's really what I find this very useful for, is generating all sorts of interesting and new ideas for music. And it's even cooler that you can just use it for commercial purposes. And while this is generating, you can also tell it to generate out music that actually has lyrics. And you could tell it to either use lyrics or you could tell it to auto-generate lyrics, which is even more crazy. So if I come in here, I could come in and say a song about fine point CGI and I could tell it to auto-generate the music. And let's go with something like I usually just listen to lo-fi, but let's try doing just rock and see how that goes. And maybe indie rock and maybe do guitar, drums, bass, let's say. So we'll go ahead and create that real quick and we'll see. But if we head over to our pixel sounds, let's see what we got. 
and that's not a bad chip too. Not gonna lie, I really like that one. That one's really cool. Ooh, I'm not a fan of this one at all. But this does sound like a rap battle of some description or maybe some hip hop R&B sound. So that's pretty crazy. So let's say we wanna do Pixel Crusade Symphony and I wanna extend it because I really liked that section before, but instead of just doing battle music, let's do epic comma build up let's say and we'll try seeing if that gives us a little bit better sounding now for our other one that we messed with where we had sound let's see what that our voice let's see what happens so if we click on this And so what's wild about this is that we can use it to generate actual music as well. And again, you get to do all of this for commercial purposes. This one's not super great, but you get what I mean. You get to really mess around with it. And you can actually come in here and like I said, write your own custom lyrics. So you can actually see here, it has all the words right here. So if I don't like a specific word, I can come in, change it, and then it will give you the exact same song effectively, but with the changed words. And that's what makes it so cool. And if we take a look at our Pixel Crusade, And this is perfect for background battle music. You might need to figure out a way to loop it, but it works pretty well. So that's what makes it cool though, is that you can generate your background music. So by all means, check it out and, and send me your guys' coolest creations. I would love to see what you guys build with this, but it looks like a lot of fun. I thought it would be a great tool for you guys to add to your toolkit for your game. And yeah, let me know what you guys create because I think it's a really cool thing. And I think AI is making a really big splash in the uh, music industry and in the gaming industry in general. So if you guys like this video, go and hit that like button. Hey, you know, if you guys dislike this video, go and hit that dislike button because I am here to make content for you guys. This video was not a viewer suggested video, but if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below or jump on my GitHub. Link is in the description and put in a ticket. Most of my content is viewer suggested. This was just something I stumbled upon and I thought it was really cool. And I figured that it would be really cool to kind of cover it and show you guys how it works and so that you guys could actually use it for your own stuff. And hey, if you guys have any questions or comments or you guys want to discuss this at all, hit me up in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you out or jump on my Discord. Link is in the description and anybody there will be more than happy to help you out. But that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.